is V from a Canadian RVer, eh? In this video, what I'd like to do is just kind of go over some of the improvements that I did and kind of like revisit them and say, is it worth it? So let's cover 10 of the upgrades that um, you might want to look at. So let's look at five inside and five outside. So what we're looking at right now, this is one of my best choices that uh, I could say for um, that I've installed. Uh, this is on the inside now, we'll call it the inside. This you're looking at is the Wi-Fi Ranger control panel. So the Wi-Fi Ranger is one of the uh, units uh, that I did an upgrade on and I did this very early in the game. I did this basically the first year that I had the coach in uh, 2015. So let me show you where it looks, where, where I've installed everything and how it looks. So here we are in the front uh, overhead compartments and this is where I've mounted my Wi-Fi Ranger and I have the the GoTo Elite package and uh, starts off with the Wi-Fi Ranger uh, GoTo AC. This is the inside unit. Um, I will take you on a clip and I'll show you uh, uh, where I mounted the upper part, uh, the other part of the Wi-Fi Ranger Elite. In this corner here we see the power supply and uh, uh, some of the other technology, just quickly to go through it, um, I've got a, a Wi-Fi a Wi-Fi hotspot right there that I plug into the Wi-Fi Ranger when we're traveling. At home base, um, I have a cable modem. And then on the far corner, what I have there is a Wii Boost. So on the technological side, I really love all my devices and how they're working. And um, just let me turn off the Wii Boost, come back here. That's our cable modem working at home base. We have our Wi-Fi uh, hotspot when we're traveling, and I turn that on, put in a, a SIM card in that, and it all feeds back into the Wi-Fi Ranger. Like I said, I'll take you up to the roof and I'll show you the Wi-Fi Ranger mount. Here we are, we're on the roof right now, and uh, you can see the Wi-Fi Ranger. It's all of military grade aluminum. It's got a nice bracket that you can mount it on, and it comes with a, a swivel antenna. It'll take a bit of a beating with a tree or anything you go under. And um, it's, it's a half wave antenna, all of military grade. It's on a nice frame that it sits on with of course the name Wi-Fi Ranger. So this is the outside part. This is called the Elite AC unit and all a great product can really take the Florida sun. So let's carry on with our second I guess upgrade that I done and really enjoy using this is I have the the Garmin 770 uh, GPS system and um, there's not much to see on the on the, the GPS right now but um, uh, we use this quite a lot when we're traveling and uh, really enjoy using uh, that part of the GPS uh, we also have GPS that's in our radio part but um, I use that one just for my rear camera so do I like the GPS system? Yes, I do. I like this one a lot, only because um, it is, it's a, a screen that you can have your sunglasses on and look down, and you will be able to see the screen, uh, even with sunglasses or on a bright day. I'm just trying to get a good shot of that one for you. And uh, there we go. The reminder just came up. Uh, it's tied into our cell system. And um, so that's working really well. Uh, we love that. Uh, the GPS, the Garmin uh, 770. And our third upgrade, or add-on that we've added, is our Kiwi OBD reader. And this is, again, we're looking at the screen here. Once you're ready to connect, you touch the connect button. It starts to light up. And of course, the engine's not running right now or anything like that. So we won't get a connection, but I can still go in and, and uh, show you the gauges, what it looks like. And I think I've gone through the video and uh, I'll link all these videos together so you can watch them, all the 10 videos. Uh, that we've done but really enjoy this um, only for the simple fact uh, um, it, it tells you what the engine's doing and if you find the sweet spot uh, for traveling you can get some good fuel economy and speed and, and rpms at, at a nice ratio there and then it gives you a good fuel level burn and um, it, it, it shows you what the engine is doing 
So I love it. Uh, we use it a lot. Highly recommend it if anybody has a Class A, especially a Ford uh, 53 chassis, which um, the dash, there isn't a lot of information on your dash. So this really helps me out in uh, getting all my information back to uh, while we're driving. Now let me show you where, of course, the OBD reader is. Here's where the uh, Kiwi unit, the OBD reader, is sitting right there. And um, it's trying to connect, but of course the engine's not running, so nothing will happen uh, until I uh, turn the, uh, the engine on and that starts to transmit and it goes Bluetooth from the Kiwi to my iPad. And uh, it works great, love it, and highly recommend this if anybody wanted to uh, uh, use this the way I use it. And it also works great when it comes to um, just getting uh, some diagnostics from your engine. So again, that's a little picture of our dash. And um, Kiwi, love it by Plex Systems. One more upgrade here. This is our fourth uh, of being internal stuff. And really, really rely on my tire pressure monitoring system. Love it a lot, um, have a lot of faith in this. It tells me what pressure my tires are at, uh, the temperature, and you know that uh, if something goes wrong, if the tire's getting hot, uh, if the tire's losing pressure, you'll get an alarm. I've got it set for minus, um, 10 uh, when it comes off the 100 psi that's what i run all my tires on and uh, you can see it flashing away it's telling me the the pressure and the temperature is a little cool outside today and there's not much sun so um, you can see where the temperature is uh, flashing it tells you the tire and uh, sure love this color device or color unit i also still have my um, my black and white or gray and white um, unit and we monitor that when we monitor the car tires um, and usually my co-pilot does all that. So I keep an eye on the coach tires and she keeps an eye on all of the tires basically, uh, plus the, the car that we're towing. So really love this color screen. TST is the manufacturer. And uh, if uh, when I had the other one, uh, the, the, the gray scale as they call it screen, it was just no, no, no problem just programming whatever was in that one into this one. It was a direct fit. There wasn't anything to change. Um, just uh, go ahead and um, put this one on and uh, program it and uh, it, it's been working great so love this one a lot uh, the color screen is great in all kinds of light and um, I love it so this upgrade yes totally totally worth it um, as so far as with all the other upgrades that I've done now let me show you the fifth one inside now this one here I've, I've really really loved this is my fifth one internally and uh, I should do a better video when I install these and I'll see if I can do that because uh, uh, in the early days I didn't have all the great equipment as I have today to do um, uh, recordings. But so what I'm showing you is there is the actual thermostat. It's by Dometic and um, it runs my Dometic units. But there is the same application on my phone. So watch what I'm doing now. If I hit the mode, you see it actually goes on and whatever's on the phone goes on that too you see that's how fast it is so i can go to heat i'm controlling everything right off the phone there i just turned everything off the unit went off the nice thing about this is well say you're driving down the highway it gets a little hot in the back here i can start my generator from the front console but how do i get back here to control this thermostat so now i can do it right off my phone and that also controls the two units i have one there and then one in my bedroom which is sitting right here too this controls the bedroom ac and uh, with our other videos which i'll touch on later again in the next upgrades is that's our, our ac silencers and you can see the uh the video install that i did on those but going back to our fifth one in the coach uh, totally, totally love these Dometic Bluetooth thermostats only because whatever you do on your phone, you can do right on the thermostat. And so say you're lying in bed one morning and you just don't want to get up and put some heat on or put some air conditioning on. You just pull your phone out that's beside you, do it on your phone. The unit responds within seconds after that. So totally, totally recommend the Bluetooth uh, Dom uh, Dometic air conditioning control systems and uh, highly recommend them. They work fabulous and we surely love them. 
Here we are now talking about our outside uh, five upgrades and improvements that we did. But I'm starting off in the coach just to show you where the switch is. What I installed earlier in one of the videos is, and I'll link to that in the comments, um, it's the True Center by Blue Ox. And there's where I mounted the control switch. So again, letting you know how this works is, um, say you're driving down the highway, it uh, could be windy, it could be uh, you know a lot of trucks going past you on either side. You always get a bit of buffering uh, of the wind. And what if you know you're driving down the highway and you're getting buffeted by pretty strong winds to the to the right or the left? What I would do is I would then go up and and center my wheel um, into where I wanted to turn. So say that I'm being buffeted by uh, winds coming down the driver's side. I would turn into the wind just slightly where I've got a, a zero um, uh, correction. And then what I would do is I would come down here and take, this is a toggle switch I've installed, so I would push this forward just for a few seconds and let it go. So what it would do is it would actually recenter the wheel where I'm pushing into the wind. Now that becomes my new center point or, or center alignment point. And I'll go down and, and, and show you the actual unit in just in a few minutes. But love that uh, upgrade feature outside. It's one of the best things I've done. Um, in my video where I've installed it, um, uh, you can see where when I'm driving back, I've only got one finger on the wheel and uh, there's no play and, and it's very, very solid driving. So um, highly recommend the Blue Ox True Center and uh, it works fabulously. It just takes this big beast and, and turns it into like a, a beautiful controlled um, heavy SUV. Um, and it works great. So highly love it. Uh, it's true center. And let me take you underneath on the, uh, on the front drive axle and I'll show you what it looks like. So here we are underneath the coach. And what we're looking at right now is the true center. You can see where it's uh, hooked on to the, um, I guess the tie rod arm that uh, goes across and uh, is, is connected to the uh, string and there it is right there and the control box is in that corner so it's mounted on a, on a fixed plate on that side this part that's behind the uh, the bezel there or the uh, the bellows is the movable part and what that does is that just recenters where center is on the coach as you're uh, driving down the highway now, another um, upgrade that we did, and uh, since I'm down here, I'll, I will show you. I've also, I don't know if you can see them right through there. I put in Bilstein shocks um, right in there. And uh, I did that the first year I had the coach. I did that in Elkhart, Indiana, when I was talking to a, a gentleman called Chip. And he uh, does some um, uh, improvements to RVs and trucks and so on. And uh, when I talked to him, I, I wanted some a smoother ride because you can see where I ride on these great big uh, steel um, frame uh, uh, springs, and I wanted a better a better ride because on some of the bumps you could see where it was um, you know hitting that uh, stopper way up in there. But um, so what what it was was uh, these Bilstein shocks uh, have um, a three chamber in them, from what I understand because when um, he, I, when we talked about the ride, I wanted a better ride, and I was thinking of doing sumo springs and stuff, and he said, no, what you need is better shocks. And uh, what Ford did in the 2015, they did install the Bilstein's, but they only had the two uh, chamber, and uh, these aftermarket ones are, are a lot better. I mean, I, I really like the ride. It really improved the ride, the bounce on the springs. And so that's the Bilstein shocks, uh, I did that. So uh, in combination, I guess, I might say that uh, since I didn't do a video on installing those, between the Bilstein shocks and the um, True Center, it, it, it really improved the ride down here. And um, just love it now. So highly recommend the True Center and the, the Bilstein shocks. Now our third upgrade that uh, I, I was really happy with and, and still um, really enjoy using this because it, it's protecting everything. I've got electrical inside, electronics is my uh, SureGuard uh, TRC um, power monitoring system. And there's, of course, two pieces to this. 
This is the outside piece, or what, what I call the, the outside piece, because uh, they make this in two uh, forms. You can, you can, they make it in a, in a pedestal mount with a, with a plug on it, but I choose to uh, put it inside. It's safer and out of sight, and uh, it works great. And we've been running this uh, for the last um, two years now. I um, think it's it's really worth it because at some of the parks that we are at uh, traveling in the summer, we found that there wasn't enough voltage. One of them had a mix match between uh, um, the ground and neutral. There was no ground and neutral connected, and it was good because this unit would uh, snap out and uh, let you know that there's a problem. So SureGuard, uh, love it, uh, by TRC, and this model is the 35550. This is their latest version of it. And it also has a surge, spike, uh, over voltage, under voltage, cross wiring, pedestal wiring, and um, works really well. So I love it. Now I'll go inside and I'll show you where the, the monitoring part is, but you can see all the lights and everything is working uh, perfectly there. And uh, I've got a video to this where I installed it and I'll link to that and uh, let you know. Is it worth it? Absolutely for the safety of protecting all of my electronics uh, inside my coach. Here's the, the monitoring uh, that we monitor from uh, our, our surge guard. And I installed this from uh, the back of the coach as a cable that runs back to there. And in here, what you can do is you can see all the voltages, the currents, you can do um, individual lines that you can flip back and forth. So the surge guard, totally love it. Uh, I think it's one of the best investments we made. And uh, TRC is a manufacturer. I believe their head office is in Florida, so that it's always pretty neat to call them for warranty and support and anything else you wanted to know. But uh, this is part and package of the unit that's in the back. This is the RV power monitor part of the Surge Guard TRC. Now, I know I said I was only going to do five on the inside and five on the outside, but I really can't get past this one without commenting on it. Um, it's, it's talking about my uh, AC um, RV uh, silencers, AC silencers. And I've done a, just a, a video that I just installed days uh, a few months ago. And the fabulous, fabulous. I mean, the sound, uh, the DB, and uh, it, it's, it's really, really quiet. And uh, what I'll do is, uh, again, going back to uh, my thermostat here, this time I'll even trigger it with my finger just to show you that it, it does work with your finger too. So there it is right there. I've uh, Now this is only just going to go on fan and um, it's on auto. So it should uh, trigger very soon. If I trigger it down, that uh, should come on. I think it's it's going to be on, on high there. And uh, there it goes. It just started. And uh, you can hear it, uh, barely hear it, I guess, because um, how quiet it is now. Highly, highly recommend these. If, if, if anybody wants to um, really quieten down their AC air conditioners, this is a product you've got to get, um, and you can see that we've linked to uh, Wacko Products. Uh, it's in our, it's, it's, you can link to them and, um, and, and see a few more of their videos, but highly recommend these. Um, they did a fabulous job of uh, making the whole coach uh, nice and quiet. So what I'll do is I'll just come back down here and just cycle through everything, and uh, they should turn off right there. Give it a second or so, and it's off. You can see it's nice and quiet. So I installed one there, and then what I did is I've also, we'll take a walk down uh, the coach, and um, same units right there. This is our front AC unit, and it's also installed there too. Beautiful, beautiful job of uh, the, the way the inside looks now with um, uh, the, the new units. Highly recommend them, give them a try out, check out our video. So this is V from a Canadian RVer. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe as we help grow the channel that way and hit the, uh, the bell that uh, will let you know that uh, we've got uh, new videos coming up and we, we hope to post uh, almost uh, one or two videos a week now. This is V from a Canadian RVer.